Ollie from Flight Comp and um, some progress on this uh, mold I'm working on. Uh, laid up this the first half and it came out pretty good. Uh, trimmed up the edge a little bit and I'm doing right now I'm just doing a little bit of cleanup on some spots like uh, had a little bit of really minuscule amounts of epoxy seep through here and I uh, I've just been scraping it off with a little stick and it cleaned up really nicely. Um, I have one spot here where the paint pulled off where I had glued this to the uh, splitter board so I need to address this. I think I'll just dab in some uh, paint or filler and sand it and polish it a little bit that's not a super big deal but other than that I mean it's uh, it's it's looking pretty good I'm pretty happy with it um, I have these spots where I use the clay to make uh, alignment marks or index marks and you can see they're not really that great they're not super smooth um, so I'm actually gonna go in here and sand these a little bit and sort of round everything out and smooth it all out just to make it a little bit nicer um, yeah, but but pretty happy with, with the result, um, so I'm going to clean up this uh, surface a little bit, I might polish it a little bit, I will um, address these and touch this up, and then more mold release, and I can lay up the uh, second half of the mold. Alright, well I have determined that the paint I used on this is pretty crappy paint, it's still really soft um, I mean that the surface coat is is hard but as soon as you sand it a little bit it starts to get really soft I could have had a reaction to the sealer or mold release I put on it but uh, anyway I tried to fill these areas and uh, ended up just chipping off more of the paint or it kind of rolled off so I kind of had to just sand it all back lower and lower and uh, you can see, you know, they get primer and some of the plastic exposed, but uh, I sanded it, I wet sanded it and I, I, I polished it, so it should be okay. And again, I can polish the mold out too if I need to. So I cleaned up the little index marks, I wet sanded those up to 1500 grit, and I did a little bit of sanding and polishing on the, the mold face here. I hit this again with 1500 uh, wet sandpaper and polished it out again. And uh, just I had a few little nicks and marks from just handling it and stuff. I think again because the paint's so so soft. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put another coat of sealer on this and then um, hit it with some mold release and set it up to make the other half of the mold. I did a little more work on this um, to get it ready for the the other half of the mold. Um, I put another gate or dam here. And I just actually just used a piece of plastic this time, so I didn't have to mess with the uh, covering wrinkling when I uh, glued it to the uh, the first half of the mold. And then I used a little bit of clay here, here, and here, um, just real thin, nothing too thick, um, just to make a little, a, a few little inserts where I can stick a wedge in and pry the mold apart um, after I make a part, just to, just to help me get the part out of the mold a little easier. So basically when I lay up the other half of the mold and pull it off, I'll just clean the clay out and I'll have a little wedge uh, inserts in the other half. Um, and then it's uh, fully, uh, it's got the bunch of coats of mold release on it, so it, it's ready to go now and hopefully I can get this thing done pretty soon. Well, it's the moment of truth. I actually finished uh, both sides of the mold and uh, trimmed it up a little bit. And it's time to see if I've done a good job and what the results are. So let's see if we can get this apart one-handed. A little difficult. There we go. Look at that. Looking pretty good. 
All right, I actually lifted out the part, the plug. There we go. Came out nice and easy. Actually, I'm lying a little bit. I already opened this old mold up uh, before um, in the garage when I when I trimmed up the edges, but uh, it, it came out super. It came apart super easy. Uh, so I did a good job with the mold release, and the part pulled out no problem. I uh, didn't leave any paint behind or anything else, so uh, I was a little concerned with that soft paint, but everything seems to be uh, have released really nicely. So I need to do a little bit of cleanup work. There's some really razor sharp edges on some of this stuff. I got to knock down with some wet dry sandpaper. I'm still going to clean up some of these edges and clean the clay off and do some work here on the pry parts. But uh, man, I'm really happy with this. I think it's gonna it's gonna make uh, a real, uh, some really nice parts, or at least one. One's all I need. But yeah, it's looking really good. Uh, gotta do a little bit of polish. I'll do a little bit of polishing on the surface of the molds, and then uh, I'll seal these and put more, more mold release. And we can finally move on to actually making a part, so we can get that much closer to actually uh, working on the, the model and, and not the mold.